Okay, here's a look at my grapple collection. So here's just a quick look at what I still have. And I know grapple is not a very uh, popular character, but um, he was a part of the original Generation 1. And he will always be remembered from that one episode, The Master Builders. So this is just a quick look at him or what I still have in my collection. And as always, I like to start with the original Generation 1 grapple. So let's see, here's a look at the original Generation 1. So let's zoom in, get a better look at that head. And very typical of G1, you get all these uh, chrome-plated metallic parts with all these uh, sticker decals, which are really nice um, for that time. But today, you don't really get these things. And so now let's uh, just take a look at him from the side view. He has this long uh, hook on his back. The other side and the front. So it's, it's a nice figure, uh, especially considering this is the design from the 80s. So now let's uh, compare this with the uh, animation model and see where they base the character design off of. And yeah, they did, um, you know, for the most part, uh, make this. Uh, like the cartoon, but um, yeah, it's they're they're not uh, exact. This is not a Hypertune um, G1 toy. And then after G1, there was the Chug Line, and here, this one is the Takata version. I don't remember if this was uh, Henke or United, but. Here, uh, this was a really nice figure. One of those that were meant to resemble the character from the cartoon, but they definitely um, put in their own design. So he's like a new vehicle and they added a lot of uh, cool features. Um, I think this one has an automorph transformation with the head. Like you pull this and then the head flings back. I mean, even the details, look at the details in there. You get the nice seats inside and all the details that you can see on the arms, the legs, even the feet. So even though this is not cartoon accurate, um, for the time, this Chug era, um, these are really cool figures. So... Let's a look at the uh, chug, and then there is the uh, current main line, which now they are st starting to uh, make these look a little bit more cartoon accurate. And for the most part, <laughs> this really is uh, cartoon accurate. I don't really like the uh, head, and then yeah, these do have these. Uh, silver which should be white but uh when you look at it i mean they did put in those details i mean you can see i don't know if you know but these two little squares on the shin they should be there but there's a lot more added extra detail that were sculpted in very nicely from the sculptors of this toy so there's the back this is really a nice figure this is one of those War for Cybertron figures that uh, got me started collecting those. So that's a look at the uh, mainline retail. And then Masterpiece, well, before this, there was the Make Toys version, which I did have and 
That's another one of those many, many figures I gave away to a friend and hopefully he does uh, appreciate that and enjoy it. But I want to point out the Make Toys version, you know, masterpiece uh, scale during that time when it was not hypertune, uh, it did look pretty good. And I have to tell you the quality of that figure, transformation, the plastic, all that stuff. It was really a great figure. Definitely better than the way x Transbots produces their figures even to this day still with thin plastic parts and stuff. But anyways, that was the Make Toys version. And then, this is definitely the definitive version to have the masterpiece. And after all of the new recent uh, grapples from Magic Square and New Age, um, now I know if you want the definitive version of any one of these Transformer characters or collection, Masterpiece is um, the collection to have. So that's finally settled with me. So I know if I want to have all the G1 characters that resemble the cartoon, Masterpiece is the way to go. So just a quick look at the Masterpiece. And then there are the Legends, or Mini Masterpiece. So here's um, the Magic Square, which they made two versions. One's not uh, cartoon accurate with the black windows, but, you know, he does have the white parts. And then they released this new version with the blue window, but then... The other, and some other things are accurate. I mean, it's kind of hard to see in this light, but the legs, they're not black, they're, they're gray. The first one was black. And then the wheels, they have the yellow rims like it should be. Um, but, you know, I've already did my review. It's not perfect. I mean, he's missing those um, support beams that should be on his lower legs and this one here is by new age so you can see they even put in the details of the two squares on the shin this except this one does not have the blue windows that i'm really disappointed about and then the mech fans toys version you know before this one came out they did paint the windows blue but i'm disappointed that man they um didn't fix it where those support beams uh, were down here, so which Mech Fans Toys usually does. They usually improve figures. But that's uh, just a quick look at um, the Legends or the Mini Masterpiece right here by New Age. And so all together, this is uh, my collection of grapple and so yeah just the uh, let me straighten these guys all out so we can see them there's first the G1 then the chug version which was which is really nice this thing uh, this gimmick that it has you know where you can Extend this uh, crane, use it as a weapon. Then the main line. Uh, and the masterpiece. So that's uh, a look at my grapple collection.